welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys are having a good day. First of all, before I even begin with anything, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who gave me so, so, so much love for my last previous two Halloween looks. I couldn't believe that you guys literally loved it. Oh my goodness, I really want to continue doing these looks too. So even if it's not Halloween, I might still continue doing like this, you know, unique phobias. But I'm going to try my best to include them in other Halloween looks and, you know, remove like the other ones because you guys seem to be obsessed with them as much as me. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I did get henna for like a festival which is called Karwachot. It's actually something I don't know, have like much information about. I just know you get henna done and females fast for like their husbands. But please do a whole background check. I know I'm Indian and I should know this, but I actually have no idea about it like that much. I'll put like a picture up here, like somewhere around here. You guys can take like a full book, but this is like when it was wet. I don't think I have a picture of it when it was like dried and stuff. So if there's too much light today, it's probably because I'm recording quite early. I never record this early. Usually, you know, I'm never awake. But today I'm actually doing this because, um, well, okay, I didn't want to talk about K-pop or anything, but like, um, BTS is having like their live stream like today, so I do not want to miss that at all. Today we're back with another Halloween look, though, like I said, before I did phobias, you know, there's unique phobias, which you guys seem to love, love, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the love you've given me. But for today, we're going to be focusing on a bit different look, but it's just unique, actually. Today's Halloween look is going to be based on underwater creatures which have not been discovered yet. Now, the whole concept for me, you know, not even just for Halloween, but for looks, is like trying to find different kind of ideas. And this was something I found really... Okay, first of all, it came instantly. It was like 2 a.m., I remember. And I was just lying in my bed trying to sleep. And I was like, oh, holy moly, I thought I'd write this down. So I wrote it down. And like, the next, you know, and the next day, I actually ended up like doing some research on like what animals, you know, like the reference pictures. Because of course, you know, they haven't been discovered yet. You know, what they would look like. And I just had the idea, what if, you know, underwater creatures kind of came to life, you know, as humans, you know, on Halloween, it's a time of Halloween, we're gonna expect something mind-blowing, we're gonna expect something which can't really happen, you know, such as a pumpkin walking. And I saw, like, this very specific picture, like, right here. Um, this one picture right here really gave me, like, a reference, I'm like, oh, I really want to do that now. Today's look, I don't think I can do the exact look like that, because I actually wasn't sure how to make the teeth. But I'm going to try my best to use as much props as I can. I do have some props ready, which are going to be like big teeth. So taking, I this is like the picture I took as reference. But I look at like other pictures and stuff. And I kind of like combined them into one look. So we're going to be creating them as one thing. I actually am thinking of making myself a DIY bald cap today. Because, you know, I don't have like my dad jeans or something, you know, when I'm bald. Um, Papa, if you're watching this, I apologize. It's okay guys, he's used to being bullied by me. Like he just, it's, it's the used to thing. He just wakes up and I just decide to be my relating to him. Anyways, now that we're moving forward, I'm going to teach you how to make a bald cap, which I actually learned like literally last night that um, I don't have a bald cap and apparently they're also very expensive and I don't really know how to get them from like a little wig shop. Don't sell like even like reusable, okay reusable ones are expensive. But I've heard maybe like not the other ones. There's still like $50 though. Like, I'll, excuse me. I'll show you the entire process and stuff. And I'll show you guys exactly how we do it. And probably show you instructions. I hope it does work. Because I was actually thinking of hiding my entire hair. And you know, using that as a bald cap. So yeah. Hopefully it turns out nicely. Okay. So the first step she did was. The lady took her hair and she said to slick it all back. So what I'm going to do is she said it has to be either really greasy or you can use water to like really sleek it back. Like literally nothing like this should be hanging out. Everything should be like nicely stuck together and really tightly in a bun. So we're going to do that. I don't know if she said bun or if she said like to tuck it all in because I don't know how I'm going to tuck it in either. I have like a bit longer hair than what she had so I might just do a bun. Okay, I have to also like wash my hair so it's completely fine. I mean I can use oil too but as I said I literally have... No time. I have to do this look, take pictures, and remove it instantly and get ready to go out. What have you guys been up to recently? I have, which was literally today, watching um, the Jeffrey Dharmer, Dharmer, Dharmer series. Not gonna lie, I'm traumatized. I, I've just watched two episodes and I'm traumatized already. I am. Um, just no comment. It's the way he looks extremely innocent. And then, you know, I just knew he was gonna be, you know, like that quiet kid. If you guys haven't watched it, 
literally watch it at your own risk. If you don't want to be traumatized, d d literally don't watch it. If you have a brave heart like me, who watches zombie series and just loves seeing that for some reason. Guys, I'm just not a psychopath, you should know that. Okay, so it's nicely slicked back right now, not gonna lie, my head already hurts. So now I'm gonna grab my cling wrap and my liquid latex and we're gonna stop the process. Okay, so what she did was she took her like liquid latex and she applied it like on these kind of areas and afterwards she took her cling wrap and also stretched it out and then applied it. You know, you don't want like all of the like, crinkliness or any folded sides. You just wanna go ahead and apply it. So we're gonna attempt to do that. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like right now. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to leave it for like a little bit. I know there's like hair here. Like, I've, I have no idea how to do that one until like... <laughs> Anyways, until that goes ahead and dries, I'm gonna start gluing up my brows and moving on for the forward process. That looks kind of nice, I gotta lie. I kind of understood why she said, you know, crinkly parts and stuff. Cause see how like, that looks a bit more flat than that. Bad, but it is. It's, it's not so bad, it's not so bad. Um, I kind of want to get parents' reaction. Let's go see what their reactions are. Papa, how are you looking? Thank you. Guys, not gonna lie, my lighting here is kind of nice. So much better than my room. <laughs> my mommy's here. Let's go ask her. Mama, how are you looking? Oh, my according to my parents, I look very nice. I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but... Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and outline on like the shape I actually want. Okay, now that I'm done with like the closest outline, I'm gonna go ahead and begin with the cotton. Make sure my inside is like grayish color because I feel like over gray, like it's easier to do like black and other colors rather than you know, and black. Okay, so this is what most of like the inside wrap is supposed to be looking like. You know, I have like little dots and stuff. I've already done that, but now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to sticking the sticking teeth. That is it for today's look and I'm actually so so proud of how this all turned out because I'm not gonna lie I wasn't expecting my hair to look this freaking good without a bald cap and honestly this worked even though yes I pretty much painted my entire arm because you know what I was like maybe I should go like extra today I didn't do these areas because you know I wasn't gonna sit like a professional model but more like you know like a very gropey kind of look I really really like how it all turned out you know like I'm not even joking, I literally had a thought, I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is turning out. This isn't exactly what I thought it would look like in my head, but it's still not bad. I really, really like how it all turned out. I, you can still see my hair, which I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of sad about, but like, not from this side. And this is like the side I'm using as transition anyway, so. So I hope you guys like this look as much as I did. Not even like, I actually loved this look as much as I did. And leave it down in the comments down below if I should do more looks like these, you know. And you guys can actually recommend some looks, you know, of like the un- uh, sorry. 
and discovering creatures um, underwater. I really prefer the underwater ones because I feel like those ones are like the scariest ones, you know, because um, on the earth, you know, we found a lot of things, but you know, we've only found like 5% of the ocean, so I really, really find that fascinating, you know, to look for creatures like these. Now, this is nowhere close, I cannot, I want to nowhere close, but like, not exactly what I thought, as I said, you know, would look like, but it still looks so nice by its own, you know, and it's my own look, so I, you know, no one's gonna judge me anyways. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead now, have some food finally, and you know, get ready to where I'm supposed to be going because I'm honestly not even gonna lie. Oh my god, I lifted my hand as if I had a watch on. Um, I'm actually so so late today because this look took so long, you know, everything was like drying and everything. I was like, oh, I was freaking out. Anyways, now that this is done, I'm gonna go. Bye. Love you. Bye.